Okay. Alright. So this video is about... Come on. Kayla, stop! This video is about <laughs> coming out. Um, I found it easier to come out to close friends first. First person I basically told was my friend Sarah, and then we had a falling out of some sort. And I told my new friend Steph, who is now my girlfriend. And it's just easy if you. The way I did it was. Um, kind of just suggests the idea. Like, I sit, uh, I remember in gym class, I asked Sarah and stuff, I think, in the same day. Um, I was like, guys, what would you do if at our high school's 10 year reunion, I showed up and I was a dude with a beard and I was like really sexy? And then, and then, you know, they were like, oh, haha, you know, that's funny. And I was like, I don't know, I think it would be, you know, cool because blah blah blah. And then, you know, I was just kind of like, you know, suggesting the idea and playing around with it for a while. And then I finally told them, like, you know, this is it. And they're like, oh, well, we kind of assumed. Um, so. Yeah, it was relatively easy for me to come out to my friends. Um, the hardest thing to do was come out to my family. Came out to my mom first. She basically already kind of knew. Uh, she already knew that I liked girls, but she didn't know about them being transgendered. Um. Next, I uh, had my mom uh, sit down with my dad a couple of months after I told my mom. Uh, my dad is way more, you know, strict Bible humper. Uh, my mom's much more nurturing and accepting than my father. Um, I told my dad, and he doesn't really grasp the concept that it's not being a lesbian, and he really doesn't like talking about it. But he's realizing now that it's not a phase, and it took him a really long time to get to that point. But I don't regret telling him because he needed to know sooner or later because one day I would have come home from like college and I would have had a beard and he would have just, you know, not known what was going on. So it all depends on how your parents are. Um, you gotta like have like, yeah, have a good idea about how they might react and you gotta think of a way that will work, work best to tell them. Um, I know some people that have emailed their parents. I know some people that have just, you know, just straight up said, oh, I'm transgender, I was born a boy in a girl's body, or you have to sit down and explain it to them for, like, an hour like I did with my parents. God, there's something in my back. Anyway, um, uh, you know, friends is not that hard. Uh, people always worry, like, what will my friends think? What if they're not my friend anymore? You know, what the way I saw it was... If they can't accept you through this, they're not a real friend, so they weren't worth having in the first place. Yeah, you're going to miss them. I lost a friend who was my friend for three years, and I told her, and we had been romantically involved, and I told her, and she absolutely freaked out because she said that, you know, I just kept changing around my uh, sexuality all the time, and, you know, like, I'm like, it's not a sexuality, it's my gender expression. And, you know, she just wasn't having it and then told me that, you know, I was like, uh, transgender wasn't real and stuff. And, you know, I couldn't really talk to her after that about anything. So, um, you know, you know, people like that aren't worth having in your life if they're just going to bring you down. You need people that, you know, don't care. And you need to explain to people that, you know, just because I'm identifying, identifying, sorry, as a different gender doesn't make me a different person. I'm still going to be the person that you've known and that you've loved for all this time. Like, it's just skin. Like, my gender therapist said it in, like, the most amazing way possible. She's like, I did not realize that, um, how simple this was until I was sitting down at a male-to-female surgery. She said she was watching the surgery and she was, like, 18 inches from the surgery site. And she sat there watching and realized this whole thing is as simple as skin. Like, it's just skin. Like, whether you have a vagina or a penis doesn't make you a different person, you know? It makes you, you know, it just, it just your gender. Like, 
not even your gender, it's your sex. A penis and a vagina is your sex. What is in here is your gender, and you have to tell people that, or they will not understand, and you can't tell them, like, if they're like, oh, so you're, like, you know, you're gay. Like, no, unless you are gay. Like, oh, I'm female, it's a male, but I like men, then you're gay. But if, in my case, people just thought I was, like, a really dyke lesbian, and it was ridiculous, and I had to, like, literally, like, explain to people, no, I'm a man, I like women, I'm straight, and people are like, no, you're not straight, you have a vagina, and you're like, girl, so everyone you date is gay, I'm like, are you serious right now? Uh, people, explaining it can be very tedious, and over and over, um, but, you know, in the end, it's worth it, because you don't have to hide anymore, um, you know, at home, I still have some limits because my dad's not comfortable with anything. But in school, all my teachers call me Kai, call me Kai and try with the pronouns, but they slip up all the time. Um, all my friends have gotten it. Um, except for, I, there's a few slip-ups every once in a while, but when someone has a slip-up, you can't be like, Oh, fuck you. You have to be like, you know, it's okay, I understand. And if they say, you know, I'm just so, you like, you understand, like, it's just, they're used to calling you a different name. It'd be like calling your dog, like, Scruffy for, like, ten years that you've had your dog, and then suddenly you change his name to, like, Fido. Like, you wouldn't get it right away, you know? And, you know, pronouns are hard, too, because, you know, society has that label on people, and not everyone can grasp it right away. But there's some people that grasp it really fast. Like, I've had a lot of people adjust really, really fast to it. Um, but you just gotta be, be brave. And... You know, you gotta sit down and you just gotta explain it to people and don't get angry with them. You know, you just sit down and be calm about it and try to encourage them to do the same. Um, I'd be happy to help in any way possible. I have a Tumblr and I have a email and I have a Skype. So you guys can, you know, talk to me about whatever I, tr I try to reply. I've totally forgot about my channel, but, um,. You know, good luck to all of you, and I hope I have inspired you to start thinking about, you know, starting the transition. When you come out to people is when you really are able to start exploring being your real self. And I've um, been out of the trans closet for about a year now, and, you know, I've made so much progress. It's, like, unbelievable. You should see a picture of me from this time last year. It's, like, nuts. But, um, you know, uh... I wish you guys all the luck in the world. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, you know, leave a comment or um, email me, Kai, period, Kai, underscore, guy, at yahoo.com, or Kai, slash, not slash, Kai, hyphen, which is a little line, um, Liam, dot, tumbler, tumbler, dot com. Oh, jeez. But, um, you know. Yeah, you know, drop me a drop me a message, and I love you all, and I will be making a video soon. Give me some suggestions. I'm running out. Um, peace and love.